So um, today's topic will cover strategic partnership, the industry overview, how defining the value defines the partnership, our story of moving from transactional to strategic relationship, importance of driving the partnership process, development of metrics, and how to so socialize the partnership. So um, as we know, there are various definitions of strategic relationships in our industry. There are ongoing efforts by different industry groups, such as, uh, for example, CCMG, Pharmaceutical, Pharmaceutical Contract Management Group, to come to a standard definition. But for now, we would like to share with you what we found for definition of alliance and partnership and what resonated with how we are working together. So let's take a look at it. Definition. So what are strategic alliances? A strategic alliance is a relationship that agree, uh, between parties that agree to share resources to achieve a mutually beneficial objective. So what are the critical success factors for alliances? Each party must see a clear benefit from the arrangement, and the responsibilities must be clearly identified. We also need to recognize that each company may have a different culture and method of doing business, and we need to respect that. This is particularly important during the early stage of the relationship. What are the basic steps that we need to make to start and launch the relationship or define it? We thought that um, first one is, why do we want to partner? This is the question that you need and we need to answer uh, very thoroughly and uh, by defining value. We found another um, definition, definition of strategic partnership. So how can we define the value? In publication by Robert Grant, he suggests that creating value means taking advantage of strategic partnerships to utilize other companies' strengths to make both stronger in the long run. And we really like this definition. Um, we agreed not to fit our relationship into any established definitions in general, but rather focus on defining the value we will deliver together. And that was a very important first step for our relationship. So let's look now, let's look at industry facts now. As you can see, Alliance represents a big portion of any CRO revenue. You can look at 15 largest CRO uh, figures, mid-size and niche CROs. We're certain that um, high proportion of audience involved in these strategic relationships uh, just based on the volume. These figures are uh, from publication by Ken Getz. Thank you. So let's look at uh, these studies uh, that, that reflect a view of uh, sponsor statistics. Based on these figures published by CenterWatch, number of alliances in top 30 pharma companies are growing. You can see that the number actually doubled since 2004. So we thought and told ourselves that we're definitely on the right track. However, a good portion of alliances are failing or being terminated. You can see the numbers in the right, on the right side of the slide. There's limited success in delivering innovative solutions and cost and timeline savings. And the interesting fact is when surveyed, both parties claim that the other is unable to work collaboratively. So um, we found it quite anecdotal. So the big question is why these alliances are failing. And today we are sharing the Infinity INC experience and hope to come a little bit closer to answering these questions together. <laughs> 